everybody. Um, welcome to Stampin' with Melva. I just uh, dropped, popped on to show you um, how I made this beautiful card um, using the prized P&E uh, stamp set and dies. So if you just give me a second, I'll get organized and uh, make sure I'm broadcasting where I want to be. I guess I can never find it when I need to. Okay, hopefully I am and people can see me. Let's see. That looks like I am. So I'm just going to turn my volume down so you don't hear hear that. So great. So this is the card I made um, using the Prize Peony stamp set. So this is a, a new product suite that is available in the annual catalog, and I am so in love with it. Not only are the the stamps beautiful. Um, peonies are one of my favorite flowers, and my neighbor who has the most beautiful garden just gave me a, a whole bunch of peonies, both in, in pink and white. Um, it smelled so wonderful, and now I've gone out and bought myself a peony, so hopefully I'll have flowers next year. Um, anyway, so this is the stamp set. It's called Prize Peony, and it comes with these images, as well as some lovely sentiments. The other thing that it, the suite has is these dies. So there are the dies that will cut out, um, I'll show you the stamp set. So this die will cut out this stamp set, um, this one cuts out this one, uh, this one, and then the leaves. Uh, and then this really pretty little scallop. So not only does the scallop cut out the scalloped edge, but gives you this really pretty embossed uh, edge on it as well. So the other thing that comes with the dies, in the dies, are all of these pieces that allow you to make a three-dimensional peony. And it looks really complicated, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'll never be able to figure this out. But it's actually fairly easy once you, you've done it once. So I'm going to show you um, how to make it. So there are four pieces, four dies that actually, actually five dies, that are for the flower itself. So this, this really large piece, um, the next size down, and then these two pieces here, as well as, I think this is called the stamen. Um, and then there are three leaves and three pieces that will give you a uh, raised, like another small piece that go over and provide some detail to the leaves. So there are six pieces for the leaves and then the rest of these will, will make the flower itself. Um, so you can see on my card, so I've used the really pretty designer series paper. It's, um, the colors are uh, petal pink and gray granite and I've actually thrown in some um, basic gray on this card as well. Um, so I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can just raise this up a little bit. Um, so you can see hopefully that this this is all raised up and I've actually added some dimensionals to it to pop it out a little bit more. Um, so like I said it looks really complicated but it really isn't that complicated once you get started. So let's let <laughs> me show you how I made the card. Well, my card's not going to look exactly like this. Let me show you how I made the flower. Let's say that. Okay, I went ahead and cut out the pieces that you need for the flower. So as I said, there are actually... Let's push the leaves pieces off to the side. And the stamens. Okay, so there are actually four pieces that you need for the flower itself. And what you want to do is you start with the smallest piece. So you take your the smallest piece and you open up this little slot in the second smallest piece and you, you just gently, gently, ever so gently, push it in. Now, the trick to this, you can see, is the bottoms are all the same. So what you do is you push the, the, the smallest piece into the second smallest piece until the bottom lines up. Now, I've seen people use uh, multi-adhesive glue to adhere this. I actually found but a glue dot worked, worked well. So what I'm going to just do is pick up a glue dot, um, actually a couple of glue dots with my take your pick tool. Now it's falling out here. All right, so I'm just going to push this up. You can push it up through the top, or down through the top, or up through the bottom. All right, so I'm just going to push it up through. And again, as I said, you want to line up line up the bottom so that the edges are are even. 
and then the little glue dots will just hold it in place. Okay, so that's the first two pieces. Now, you're going to take the next largest piece and you're going to push this down into it again until, so just push it down and as far and then get the edges to line up. Again, I'm going to take a couple of glue dots. And just there. So that's now all in one piece. Okay, one more piece to go for the flower. So now you're going to take this piece, push it down through the bottom. Again, the bottom edge will all line up. And again, a couple of glue dots. We'll hold this in place. Let's see if you can go on watching me. Yeah, Janet, I understand. I know there's a bit of static. I haven't figured out why my phone causes some static. I'm sorry for that. I have to sort out. I probably need to be have some headphones on so you can't hear some background static. But hopefully you can hear me. Um, Hey Sharon, welcome, thank you for joining. All right, so now we're just gonna push this down again till you get the, the bottom edge to line up. I think I just have to turn it a little bit. Oops, see that's what happens. Okay, so push this down and line up. Line up your edges. Okay. There, so that's the flower. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm gonna push this up a little bit so you can see. I'm kind of off screen. Okay. So what I did on my card is you can leave your flower exactly like this. Um, probably will cost less to mail. Um, but on this one, I actually used some dimensionals, and so I used the mini dimensionals, and I just took some of the mini dimensionals. Take the take the top and bottom off so that the trying to reach down and I just took some dimensionals and pushed in behind here just to pop it up in places. So this this new color that I'm using is Magenta Madness. It's one of the new in colors um, and I just thought it was perfect. It almost matches perfectly with the color of peony that my neighbor brought over the other day. So I just couldn't resist. So we're just going to pop up the flower in a few spots. Let's be a little careful. We're still going to put the stamens in place here, so you don't want to put anything so that you can't get the stamens in place. And you don't have to have them, you know, all the way around your card, but just a few just gives it some dimension. There you go. All right, so these, I actually cut two in, this is in Bumblebee. I'm all about the in colors on this card. So I'm just going to, these, these tuck down into the, the slot that's here in the middle that you haven't got anything in. So these tuck down into here. I'm just going to take a glue dot and push it down. In. Take my tool here and make sure that I've got the opening so that I can get it in here. Hopefully, got it in my fingers. There. And then I'm just going to do the same. You don't have to use two, but I just, um, the flowers I got had really big centers to them, and they were yellow centers. I think you can get all kinds of peonies, so there we go. There. So that's got 
the centers of my flowers in and it's all adhered together with the glue dots. It holds it perfectly. So for the leaves, I cut two colors. Um, I cut the big leaves out of Just Jade, again one of the new in colors. So you get these kind of odd looking leaves. And then you get these, the other guys give you the, let's see if I can get this one right. They give you the, the outside. Again, you can, um, you can do it all in one. My card I actually used, um, all mint macaron on this this card um, but this one I decided to give it a bit of a definition get the leaf going the right way there we go the leaf going the right way ahead of backwards what I did for these I found that it was just as easy to take a glue dot off and just kind of roll it smaller. So I didn't put a lot of glue dots, but I just took a couple of glue dots and made them small enough so that they would be hidden underneath the. Um, and again, you're just gonna line up, line up the edges there. Oops. I need another one on that one. You could use, but again, you could use the multi-adhesive glue, but I just found the glue dots. One, the glue dots will give it, will hold it nicely, and they're fairly easy to work with. I am not a glue person. I tend to get glue all over me. So um, if you're, maybe you're not like that, and so glue would work for you. Um, I also kind of like the look of the glue dots because they actually raise it a little bit. So without using the, the dimensional um, and raising it too much, uh, these just give it a little bit of dimension. So, let's put one on this one. And one, probably a couple more on this one. Yeah, I, when I saw this, I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't actually, it's in the catalog. If you go looking on the prize P&E, um, I think that's what it's called, the bundle uh, page, there's some beautiful cards, and some of them are popped up like this. So I actually had no idea. So I had to go looking, and I had to go and try this out to see see if I could figure out how they're made. And, and really, they're, um, it's, not, it's not hard to do once you've figured it out. And as I said, start with the smallest piece and tuck it into the biggest. So there's my leaves. So for this card, I've taken I've taken some, um, this is the, a piece from the uh, Flowers for Every Season designer series paper. Uh, again, the magenta, this is Magenta Madness. So I'm just going to adhere this. I'm getting the hang of the new stamp and seal. Loving it. So we haven't tried it yet. It's very cool. It's actually, I think, a little stronger adhesive than what our snail was. I'm not so sure you have to burnish it quite so hard. All right, and then I'm just going to put this. I'm going to use dimensionals to pop it up. Love dimensionals. So again, I'm going to use some glue dots to just adhere the leaves. So just take my leaves. Oops, they're on the wrong way. Let's put it the right way. So I'm going to adhere the leaf to the back side. So I'll just like that. Let's take this one. I don't know which way is which, but I'm going to do it that way. Probably doesn't matter so much, but. I did it again. The glue got on the wrong side. Oh well, it'll stick to the back. There we go. I think I can get it right this one. Okay. Done. Do like that. 
right. And I'm going to use dimensionals. I'll put my flower. Put some over top of the leaves just to hold them in place. Alright, so now I just need to stamp. I was going to put some ribbon. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to put some ribbon. This is, this is creating on the fly. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So let's let's put some ribbon on here. Let me try. Let's see if I can tie a bow while everybody's <laughs> watching me. I'm not sure we can tie about the best of times. Alright, so let's see. Oh, not too bad. I'm going to bust up that later. And then what I was going to do is. Oh, I forgot to like, this for white paper. I'm going to take one of the sentiments from so the one that says, My thoughts are with you. My thoughts are with you. Open it up here. And I'm going to stamp this in Magenta Madness. I think that's upside down. Yes, it is. But it matters because I'm going to punch it out. Is that? Before I get my fingers in it, which often happens. Alright, so I'm just going to punch that out. Let's trim this bow a little bit. dimensions on the back. Put that side up. Go level. Alright. There. And I always do this when I I always want to put so sometimes you get the if you don't put the the uh, the dimensionals top and bottom the the label gets a bit kind of saggy so we'll uh, just gonna put some extra dimensionals on here usually only two if I put them in the right place two would have been more than enough to hold this on but A little bit. Yeah. All right. So that's a that's another card. So I'm my original card in here that I made. So on this this one, I actually sponged the the um, the petal pink with some of the the basic gray. I put some of the really pretty gray granite shimmer ribbon. And on this one, I actually stamped and then fussy cut out the. The sentiment and put some of um, petal pink behind it. Mm. So that's that card. It's a very different looking card, but I really like the color. Um, so you could sponge this with um, even with some of the magenta madness just to give it some dimension. You could sponge it with um, um, even a, a, some of the whisper white crafting um, to give it a little bit of dimension too. But I'm okay with it just exactly the way it is. So that's my card, um, and really just wanted to show you um, how easy it is to put these flowers together. And people will think you you have fussed and made uh, gone to such an amount of effort, but the dyes really make this for you. Um, so there is um, just to tell everybody this this uh, bundle is available. Uh, 
catalog, I will show you on page. So if you go to the front, the front of the catalog, the bundle is called Peony Garden, and it's on page 82 uh, to 84. So all of the colors um, the, in the designer series paper, uh, the coordinating colors are petal pink, um, uh, the basic gray, uh, gray granite. Um, I'm not sure if there's another color in here, but they all coordinate with that color. So really pretty for wedding cards, um, wedding albums. I think this would be gorgeous as a wedding album. Um, but you can make some some really pretty cards, uh, not in these colors. If you use you know some of the other colors that um, that the peonies come in. Uh, so there is a single identity, single item number. If you're interested in buying the whole suite, or you can purchase the the uh, the bundle, which is a stamp set and dies uh, as a separate as two pieces. Um, so they have a number set. All right. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I will be posting the video. Um, so if you didn't see it from the beginning, um, you can watch it from the beginning shortly. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll come back and uh, share some other uh, cards I've made uh, using the, the Peony Garden Suite. So thanks everybody for joining and I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye.